Hi students, welcome to Unacademy Need English. I am your biology educator Ambika Sharma. Students, in today's video, I am going to tell you about the chances of re-meet. Yes, but as per the current scenario, as per the things, as per the facts that we are getting, right, on the basis of that, I am going to tell you whether there is any chance of re-meet or not. I hope you guys are aware that, uh, right, the uh, director journal of NTA, right, the director journal of NTA has been replaced, right. Yesterday, uh, the uh, union minister, they replaced the director journal of NTA. So here you guys can see the official uh, notice and uh, other than that we'll discuss few other things and we'll tell you whether there are chances of re-need or not. Okay. So here you guys can see that assignment of additional charge of the post of director general national testing agency that is your NTA ministry of education to Shri Pradeep Singh Kharola. Right. Earlier NTA's DG was uh, Shri Subhot Kumar Singh but now it's Shri Pradeep Singh Kharola. Right. Chairman and managing director India Trade Promotion organization till appointment of a regular incumbent or until further orders whichever is early right and placing the services of Shri Subhot Kumar Singh IS director journal national testing agency ministry of education on compulsory weight in the de department of personal and training this is the first thing secondly bache, this is another official update this is another official notice here you guys can see that ministry of education entrusts the matter of alleged irregularities in NEET UG examination 2024 to CBI for comprehensive investigation. So you know that teachers, students, we all demanded for the CBI investigation, right, Bache? And even still in court, there are cases related to this, right? Uh, some people, they file the cases for the re-evaluation of exam, some for re, some students have filed for the re-NEET also, some has also filed for the CBI inquiry, right? And there are many more related to the irregularities in the NEET examination. So now finally, finally Ministry of Education, what are they doing? They, uh, they are also, right, they are also uh, ready to uh, ready for the CBI investigation. So here you guys can see that NTA conducted NEET UG examination on 5th May, right, in OMR mode, that is pen and paper mode. So certain cases of alleged irregularities, cheating, impersonation, malpractices have been reported. So for transparency on the conduct of examination process, the Ministry of Education, Government of India, after a review, after a review, that is something important, after a review has decided to entrust the matter to CBI, that is Central Bureau of Investigation for comprehensive investigation, right? So means they are also suspecting something. It is not just related to the Bihar case, right? It is not just related to the uh, paper leak in Bihar basically, right? So they are, right? Ministry of Education, they are also like that after a review, they have, uh, they decided to entrust the matter to the CBI for comprehensive investigation. So central government has also enacted the public examination prevention of unfair means act 2024 i just told you to prevent unfair means in the public examination and to provide for matter connected there with or incidental uh, there too so government is committed to ensure the uh, sanctity of examination and protect the interest of students so it is uh, reiterated that any individual or organization found to be involved will face strictest action so now what are the cases what are the chances of the DNA? right because now cbi is involved so obviously they are going to check something earlier you know that in the press conference right our education minister he made it very clear that if any nta official is involved in all that things they are going to bear the consequences and after that we have seen the nta dg has been replaced one thing secondly education minister he was very clear that there will be no read because it is very difficult to conduct the examination after the declaration of the results it is not fair for those students who worked very hard and they are scoring genuinely they are scoring very good marks okay which is fair now bache see these are the things which are in front of us right nta's dg changed cbi inquiry is there Today, there is the re of 1,563 students. CSIR net exam postponed, NEET PG postponed and UGC net, UGC net examination, it has been cancelled, right? So, imagine, right? And uh, for NEET PG, they have given this justification that uh, uh, amid this, uh, you know, paper leak and all, that is why, that is why they are postponing the examination. So, now what can happen? What are the possibilities? Is there any possibility of the re -need? No. Guys, see. As I said in the Supreme Court, there are many plea related to the re-need, related to the re-evaluation and related to the stay on counselling as well. So guys, see, we know that counselling will start from 6th of July, right? See, if before 6th of July, because today it is the re-need examination on 30th, uh, result will come. So if before 6th July, 
if we got any update that there is a stay on counseling then for sure then for sure there will be reneed okay then for sure there will be reneed because investigating agencies they may found something and that is why they are asking for the stay on the counseling this is the first thing now we know that counseling will start on 6th of july and the hearing is on 8th of july right so as of now because we are not getting any uh, stay on counseling so there are chances that there will be no reneed as per education minister there will be uh, there is uh, there is uh, they are not going to conduct any exam again okay i hope it is clear to you now guys let's see see we don't know when the cbi is going to present the result right when are they going to put forward the things because as per the press conference of our education minister as per him he just said that they have made a committee to check that if any official of nta is involved in it and we have seen that uh, director has been replaced so maybe maybe cbi because now cbi is involved maybe they will also reevaluate or they also check the result and they'll found that it's not just 1563 students those who are getting the grace marks anything can happen right at this point of time as per that investigation uh, anything can happen but 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 see when it comes to the 8th july if on 8th july if cbi will present something and if they will say that paper leak is at mass level right it is at mass level and we cannot right we cannot just chase the culprits we cannot say that this man is involved that man is involved no we cannot say that paper is leaked at mass level and we have to put a stay on it then yes there are chances that it can happen but again 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 if we'll consider all the factors right if we'll consider all the factors because result has been declared counseling right on 8th of july obviously counseling will start right before 8th of july okay bache so obviously in that case it will be very difficult that after you know first round of uh, 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 seat allotment then we'll say that okay now we have to put a stay we cannot allot the seats to that students obviously then it will be very difficult so yes chances of chances of re need are there but they are very less they are very less because union minister has denied for it if they will feel like right that yes paper is leaked at mass level so maybe they can decide it but as of now because even supreme court last time also supreme court didn't uh, didn't accept it that uh, the there should be no reexamination -re so guys chances of reneat are there they are very less or you can say that they are somewhere less than 10% right they are somewhere less than 10% this is what you people can say as of now now in that case what we need to do jaise many students of mine they are scoring very good marks there are chances that they will get seat in their uh, state in their states uh, a good government uh, medical colleges okay so now they are also asking me ma'am what to do if there are chances of reneed even if the chances are just 1% or 2% what should we do so guys i have a suggestion for you right i don't know how are you going to take it but yes i have a suggestion for you see let's say for an example right we have to wait till 8th of july as of now right we have to wait till 8th of july as of now today it's 23rd of june right so basically you have few days you have few days so i will suggest you people to start revising at least right to start revising at least guys it's not like that that if there will be reneed they will uh, you know conduct the exam tomorrow obviously not they are going to allot you some time but we don't know whether they'll allot one month two months or three months because it will again delay the further admissions further counseling process right the further academic session will be delayed and because of that the next academic session will also be delayed right it will be delayed so so right so chances as i said the chances of reneed are very 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 less they are very 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 less but it is just for the safe side right i believe that you people should start revising your syllabus right you cannot build that momentum in a day right so obviously the way you people were studying in the month of march in the month of april obviously you are you cannot gain that momentum right today itself no again you have to sit again you have to maintain that habit again then only you will be able to you know then only you will be able to revise your syllabus in that pace so i will suggest you people to start revising right at least start revising your notes guys that will be helpful for you believe me right at least start revising your notes let's say if you will start revising your notes is it going to harm you no 
yeah but there will be a you know mental pressure that again i have to sit again i have to compromise the things i cannot go out i have to do this do that no i am not saying that study for 12 hours 13 hours no at least in a day please sit for 5 hours that's my suggestion that's my suggestion as a teacher as a mentor as an elder sister that at least for 5 hours a day start studying and you have to study till 8th of july maybe before that we'll get some update right but at least right till this supreme court hearing start studying minimum for 5 hours a day and for 5 hours a day start studying so if you will start revising your notes even you will feel confident that okay right you remember the things okay you remember the things so by chance by chance if there will be need it guys then you will not be troubled a lot theek hai so i know i know if there will be need it it is not fair for those who are actually scoring marks above 650 uh, right those who are scoring 680 marks 650 600 marks even right but guys let's say if see if paper leak is at mass level then we cannot say anything but uh, see if there will be need that will be a problem for everyone right uh, let's say some students in this particular exam they scored 680 maybe in rene they will not be able to score even 630 so they will also be troubled that what was our fault isn't it so ultimately ultimately we cannot say that ki uh, even government agencies right even our uh, nta or you can say that even our authorities they can provide such a solution where everyone is happy no no ultimately something right someone is going to cry right literally someone is going to cry and obviously that all because of nta right that all because of nta that all because of their dis discrepancies but for the safe side right for the safe side it is my suggestion that you people should start revising your notes at least right that is my honest opinion for all of you all of you it is at least it is not going to harm you maybe it will not benefit you but it is not going to harm you it is not going to harm you so guys please please do consider it do consider it right all of sudden they cannot decide to postpone neat pg all of sudden they cannot decide to postpone csir net there is something something is there right and something is fishy so i'll suggest you people to start studying again that's my advice okay and guys if you people are scoring marks less than uh, 600 or 550 i will say or less than 500 i will say right bachche if you are scoring less than 500 and you are clear that you want to go for the neat only then in that case i'll say please do not right do not pray for the sari neat please start your preparation and start it for neat 2025 right because you will not get the uh, time for 3 months 6 months or 7 months to prepare again obviously right after basically after 9 or 10 months there will be the neat exam again so i will suggest you people that if you are scoring less right and you are clear that you want to go for the neat only then students it is my genuine advice for all of you you please start preparing for your neat 2025 right and today it is the last day to enroll in phoenix 3.0 batch at rupees 5499 because from tomorrow there will be a price hack a uh, price hike okay so here you guys can see you can check any video right right you can check any video on our channel that is an academy neat english okay and then see this revise india series is also there if you want to start your start your preparation so you guys can see in the description box there is a link okay so you have to click on this link bachche and you you can enroll in the batch so as i said for today you will get it at a price of 15499 right for one year for one year right 5499 you have to pay there are no hidden charges right right in this batch you will get the test also later on you will automatically be enrolled in the test series plus whenever we are going to start the crash course you guys will automatically get enrolled there so in the batch itself there will be multiple rounds of revision and plus you will get, be the part of crash course also so till your need 2025 we are not going to leave you guys so make sure you join this batch okay and if you want to join it for 24 months means if you are targeting need 2026 again right you can take this batch and you will get the access of all the batch is on an academy platform for that two years or for that one year okay so decide wisely bachche and please those who are scoring good marks and still they are confused about the renate again i'll suggest you bachche please please do consider this request of mine at least start revising i know i am asking something very difficult right i know it's very difficult to start studying again when you don't feel like because you have already studied for two years three years you got good marks and because of all that things right because of uh, nt 
these mistakes you have to compromise your this time also right but still 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 it will be good for you it is not going to harm you so guys start revising start studying again okay so take care of yourself if there is any other help you need do let me know in the comment section just take care of your health as well guys thank you so much